Hey guys, I'm Captain Duck and this is my Dwarf Fortress Review tutorial uh, part 9. Last time we started with housing and uh, trading and making crafts. And let's continue with that this time. Well, here's my um, my jeweler. I already gave him some orders. There's four tiger irons over here. And I want to cut them up into small little parts so the dwarves will, uh, can actually use them to encrust something with uh, gems to make them worth more. Um, I did that just by going to a jeweler's workshop with Q and A to add an order, select one of these and press C. And that's as simple as that. For now I'm going to cut this one, I want those four tire irons cut really fast. Also I want to make some crafts, uh, crafts are simple basic items just basically for selling. Can't do anything with your shelf, but you can sell them and they're worth more than your normal crap. Um, at least for rock there is, so let's make some rock crafts, that will be fine. Press C or enter again. Let's make uh, four of those. And those four will hopefully be encrusted with these tiger irons. Also, uh, I'm going to make a few stockpiles. First one for gems, so all the gems in the fortress will be brought to this stockpile. And one for finished goods, which uh, are the crafts. The crafts are parts of finished goods, so that's great. And um, if I put space, now everything should be going fine. Also, there's another thing. Over here, there's another dwarf, which is mine. This is the Outpost Liaison. Using time to switch here. Uh, this is a dwarf who will talk to me in a moment. Um, and he's hanging around the Solid Snake here. Because apparently, if I press N, Solid Snake is our expedition leader. He's like the, the managing dwarf at the moment, the boss, but and he does everything since there's only seven of us. This will all be split later, but for now it's working. Um, so yeah, Solid Snake is the boss of our little group of dwarves. And um, he's also my most important dwarf at the moment, since he's making uh, all the crafts. Now let's hope Gordon Freeman, or um, I mean Master Chief, soon build that trade depot. I'm putting the, the bit of video on hold till something interesting happens. Alright, uh, Solid Snake has finished with making four crafts and uh, cutting up four tiger irons. So let's increase the tiger irons, hopefully. If I press A at the jeweler's workshop, I have now a white E here. Uh, the C means you have rough diamonds you need to be cut first. The E means you have uh, Cut giants, which can be processed, uh, encrusted in something. So these white shell stones aren't uh, cut yet, so I can't engrave anything with them yet. First you need to cut, then you need to encrust. For now, I'm pressing E to encrust this uh, something with tiger irons. I want him to encrust uh, finished goods. That will be uh, part of my uh, what all the, the rock crafts should be there. And let's add this four times. Uh, so E G A E G A E G A. Oh, yeah. Now what is that's with? That uh, was it even. So now in a moment, Salt Snake should come and start encrusting something. Looks like he's basically working on the workshop first. Also, this one cancelled because this dwarf, uh, human uh, dwarf, is on stand in the way, stood in the way. So the construction is suspended. We can start it again by pressing X. Um, another thing I should tell you is hotkeys. Hotkeys are very important, especially when you're going to go all the down the way to the bottom over here. Uh, as you can see, there's just there's a lot of button presses every time to go up down levels. You can make this faster. Uh, if you press H for hotkeys, there's a whole list of hotkeys you have. For the game only has one standard lead, the gate zoom. That's where you start if you press F1. You immediately go here to the gate, where you, well, basically where you started. Um, but I want to change that. But, uh, yeah, perfect, you have one. Uh, so I'm pressing H for hotkeys. And this is the gate at the moment, so I'm zooming here. Uh, press F1 and press Z to make it zoom here. Now I want another zoom place and hotkey to go here. 
So I press F2 for another one, press Z to go here. I want one here at F3, Z. I want one all the way down here at 4, Z. Now you can also name these things if you uh, want, if uh, that will help you. Uh, so you could do that with N, and you could name in like bedrooms. Space. And now if I press F1, I go here. F2 go here. F3 I go here. F4 I go here. It will speed things up for me. Very good. Um, so yeah, I implore you to all try that. It will be really handy to have, especially if you have a big fortress, you really need it. Um, let's see, some of these crafts should be done. Yeah, he's done. Let's see how the Shreddy Bow is doing outside. Still not done. Where are you, Master Chief? You shouldn't be cutting trees at the moment. Oh, it needs masonry, so Salt Snake is going over there now. That's good. At least he should go over there. Well, at one point he will. Um, well, that builds. I'm going to pause the video for a moment. Alright, the third uh, depot is done. Press Q to interact with it, like everything. Uh, and then press G to actually move some goods there. Now you'll get a whole list of stuff you have. And since I have some crafts over here, look at this, all the endless rings, crowns, all useless to me, but perfect for trading. And I think these are the game crossed ones. Let's see. Uh, once you're done with this, you could select some more stuff you have if you want to trade it. For now, I want to keep everything I have. Uh, so I'm pressing F9 to be agree with this. Also, I need a broker at uh, a trader at the depot. So I'm pressing R, so trader requested deep at depot. And uh, also, the trader should leave here, come here soon if it's built fast enough. The merchants will be leaving soon. I hope they still come. I can't show this at the moment. Um, Here's some dwarves taking my uh, stuff outside at least. And here's the trades and loading. Good. And I can't trade yet because I need a trader over there. I'm thinking they'll leave soon, so I'm setting the for the B option to anyone my trade. So any of my dwarves will go there as soon as they can. Here comes one with another item I made. Weird letters are always crafts. Ah, and the merchants have left. I was too late. Well, that's a shame. Um, so I guess uh, explaining uh, trading like this won't come till a later, uh, later um, episode. Oh well, it's no big loss. I don't really need to trading at the moment. And I'm prepared for next time. I think it'll be the end of this video too. I'm going to yeah, make some, some more stuff in the meantime. Of course, some more gems. Like all of them. ACR. ACR. A move. CRA. And that's all in the list. Now all my gems will be cut. Since this, these are repeat orders. And yeah, he'll repeat them until he can't anymore. And which he'll then he'll cancel the order and move on to the next one. Um, okay, so that's it for now. Um, one last look at my bedrooms. Yeah, the last room. Next episode will actually install and make the bedrooms. See you guys later.